Welcome to Sharing My Page. Today we're going to do something totally different. Um, I'm having my kids that I teach at church. They're going to speak to us about the Word of God. And I picked three of them that they did speak to us today at church. And the one that posted here so you guys can receive it from them. So they are just kids. Okay. So go easy on them. And if you want to encourage them in the comment below, that's awesome. And thank you so much. And I decide from now on, I'm going to start having them each time when I pick a kid to preach or to speak and I'm gonna have a video posted here and share my faith and enjoy the message from those lovely kids and I'll see you guys in the next video Go. Hi I am Gloria and I'm going to be in Psalms chapter 119 verse 1 to 4 and it says Blessed are those who drink our blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. So, what I want to say is that um, people who are blessed, they don't break the commandments. They stay true to the commandments. They don't just read it and be like, yes, yes, I am blessed. Because we read it and just we do it one day. We gotta do it every single day. And he also says, blessed are those who seek him with their hearts. You can't say you know God just because you read the Bible or just because people tell you to. You have to know him within your heart. You've got to know him, understand him, and just know that he's there with you. And um, yeah. And to be able to be, this, it says, bless people, you um, are blameless, which means that they don't do any sins. But you could be blessed and still do like sins, but not too much. That's not good. And um,
Like I said, if you are not humble, most of us in here aren't humble at all. But being humble is being a believer in God. As you put it down, as you walk every day in life, you need to stay humble. Just as your parents are teaching. And my other one is um, gratefulness. Being gratefulness is one of the most important things you can be in life. Is be thankful for what you have and saying things to what God has given you. And most of us here are grateful, and most of us aren't. Sometimes I'm grateful, and sometimes I'm not. Uh, when your parents buy you something, you have to be grateful for whatever they buy you. Not the one they buy for Christmas, and they give you a box of socks, and you just don't have it. <laughs> It's not like that. <laughs> they bought the socks for you for a reason. Be grateful for the house you live in, for the food you eat every day, and for the church you have to come to every Sunday and Saturday. Um, today, I am here to speak about bearing and working together in everything you do. Bearing with each other in love. As we are here today, we are all brothers and sisters. And we all love each other. Am I wrong? And once, once you step in this church, you need to know that he's my brother, she's my sister, and that we are all a family. And Working together is super important because you can't get some uh, you can't get something without having somebody that can help. And I've had help all my life. My parents, my friends, the school, and as you go through life, there will always be competition. And can't just achieve it by yourself. You can't expect to go through life by yourself. There will always be somebody there. Um, today, is loving and being tender and 
kind to one another. And thank you for listening. Thank you for being here today. And that is all I have to say. So they can get it. Twelve. What's the name of it? Genesis. Genesis, Genesis twelve. What? Genesis, Genesis, Genesis twelve three. three. Yes. Okay. Write it down. Okay. All right. And then you guys just write something important you get from her explanation. Don't write everything. Just write something important. And then you have to write something. You have to get something. Okay. Go ahead, sister. Um. The Abraham is the father of all nations, as we know. Jesus said to him, I will bless you, and I will bless those who bless you. And whoever who cast you, I will cast them to you. Abraham, Abraham was hundred years old without no kids. No and God said to him, go, go away, go from other country, I will show you. And, and Abraham listened to the voice of, of God and he went, he went where Jesus told him to go. And that's why, that's why Jesus said, I will bless you and you will become the father of all nations. That's why people like to say Abraham and Jacob, yeah, that's why Abraham is the father of all nations. We have learned a lot, a lot of things about Abraham. Uh, Abraham, before, before God changed his name, was Abraham. But after Abraham, God said, you are not no more Abraham, you become Abraham. And Jesus said to, to Abraham, Abraham again, and then he said, your wife is no more, more Sarai. She becomes Sarah. That, that's Abraham. when Sarah, Sarah becomes Sarah. When she was Sarah before, she has, she has no kids. And that, that's why when God blessed Abraham's family, he gave Abraham his son. Yeah. Then that's why we must follow God. So she, he can bless you. He can bless me. Mm -hmm. Through Abraham. Mm -hmm. When we have to read the Bible so we can learn more about Abraham, more about heroes. So Sarah <laughs> Sarah has no she did not want Abraham to talk to him to him. Are you waiting for the promise God has said has told us? Then Sarah said, No, it's not impossible. We can't have this. Look, you are, you are 100 years old, you have no kids. I am, I think she said, I don't know, like 90, I don't know. But these are the promise of God. Whatever, no matter what, Jesus will do what he said. When Jesus told Abraham, wait, waiting for my promise, I will give you a son. And then Abraham listened to the voice of God. So we must we must learn how to listen and respect the voice of God. Abraham listened and 
respect the voice of God as as God told him, go away from your country, go away from your father's house, and I will show you where you have to go. Then Abraham listened and then he went there. And that's why he said, I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. The, the place I like is, I will bless those who bless you. So we must respect and learn how to obey, how to respect the voice. There is the lack of voice. I'm calling you back. You have to answer and listen to one voice of God. Uh, God said to him, I will bless you. As that, that God told you. And every time God bless us, but we don't know. We don't, we don't, you can't count how many blessings God has for you. Amen. Respect and love. Love. 